Oh, look at Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. That's my desire, that you would be saved. I know this is uh, an apostle called Paul. He's speaking to the Jews, to the Israelites here. And he's saying that he desires that they would be saved. And that's my desire to salvo, that you would come to faith in Christ. That you would become a child of God by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is what's needed if we want to be in heaven. You see, you cannot be in heaven apart from Christ. Do you like the way to heaven? Yes, Christ is the only way to heaven. He's the one who died on the cross. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried. Praise God the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. So my heart's desire and pray to God that is that it be you would be saved. All those in the hearing of my voice, that you would all be saved. That you would come to faith in Jesus Christ, believe on him to receive everlasting life and peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Forgiveness of sins and a home in heaven for all of eternity. But for I bear them record, that is the Jews, that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. You see, you and I, if we think we're righteous, we're wrong. All our righteousnesses are as filthy rags in the sight of God. He's not interested in whatsoever. If you and I are going to be in heaven, we'll have to come through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The one who died on the cross for you and for me. He can be your Saviour at this hour. Yes, we need to submit ourselves unto the righteousness of God. You see, when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive the righteousness of God, which means that we can enter into heaven. So we cannot be in heaven in and of ourselves. That's why we need a Saviour. And that Saviour is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who has made sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. That if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will be saved. You'll be on your way to heaven. That's exactly what God wants for each and every one of us. He wants us to be in heaven. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Again, what is repentance? It's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. That is the promise of God. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we need to uh, submit ourselves unto the righteousness of God by faith in our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. In other words, when we realise that the Lord Jesus Christ died for us, well then we we'll stop trying to do good things to get to heaven. There's no way that we can enter into heaven by doing good things. It's great to live a good life, there's no problem with that. You know, you might say, well, I've never hurt anyone and all that sort of stuff, and that's great. But that can never ever get us to heaven. We've got to come God's way, and God's way is through the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. It's through the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, or in this way, Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is, to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith he? The word is nigh thee, or near thee, 
even in my mouth and in my heart, that is the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. This is the way of salvation. It's through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ is the one who died upon the cross for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried. Praise God the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's a living, loving saviour, my friend. He wants to save your soul from a long and lost eternity. There's no need to go down to hell. You can be in heaven the moment you die. Only and exclusively through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Don't leave it another second. We don't know when we're going to leave this earth. Are you ready to meet God? The only way we can be ready is if we have put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, become a child of God. Like the way to heaven? God bless you. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. You say that, my friend. Go to heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ is the one who died on the cross to each and every one of us. It doesn't matter what name we have, what nationality we are, what colour our skin is, what language we speak. Christ died for the ungodly. And we're all ungodly when we're born in this world. We're heading down the hill by default. God bless you. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ loved us enough to die upon the cross for you and for me. Yes, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scriptures say, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek or the Gentile, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That can be yours this afternoon. If you call upon the name of the Lord, your soul be saved. You know, God has given us his word. We can fully trust what God says. You know, the Bible says, let God be true, but every man a liar. So we need to understand that God is fully faithful. He's truthful. Not like you and I, we cannot be fully trusted. You know, maybe we, we can be trusted to a certain point, but, but, but there usually comes a time when we become unfaithful and untrustworthy. But the Lord God, He is trustworthy, and He wants you to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants you to believe upon His beloved Son. For whosoever, as it says here, shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. God is no respecter of persons. It doesn't matter what language we speak, what colour our skin is, where we've been born, or whatever the case might be. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him, that is, on Jesus Christ, is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. The worst sin you could commit is not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, not receiving God's testimony concerning his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you calling God a liar this other? You know, he's given witness concerning his son that he died on the cross, shed his precious blood for you and for me. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him, him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? 
That's why I'm here to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ unto you, that you will put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to focus your attention upon the Lamb of God, my friend. The Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Do you want the way to heaven? Have a great day. God bless you. Yes, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. This is why we get out here as gospel preachers and preach the word of God unto you. God is the only one that knows what he's talking about, my friend. And we are just messengers for Christ's sake. We come out here with the message of Christ, that you might believe upon the Lamb of God, the Son of God, the one who died for us upon the cross. He could be your Saviour, this other, my friend. Did he come to Christ? As it says here, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, or truly, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people. In other words, he was going to preach the gospel, later on the gospel was going to go to the, to the Gentiles, and the Jews would be provoked to jealousy over them, because they had in their mind that they were God's chosen people. But the problem is, only those who put their faith in Christ are the ones that are chosen. And they are chosen because they put their faith in Christ, not because God chooses some people and not the other. God is no respect to persons. God wants everyone to be in heaven. But you cannot get to heaven apart from Christ. You've got to have Christ as your Saviour. Otherwise you'll never ever be in heaven. Yes, but I say, did not Israel know? For as Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and said, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel, he said, all day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Let's talk about the Jews here. They had rejected their Messiah. They did not recognize the Lord Jesus Christ for who he really is. Yes, he's the King of Israel. In fact, he's the King of kings and Lord of lords. And every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Do you like the heaven? Yes. This is what we need. We need to come to faith in Christ. We need to put our faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, to become a child of God. Yes, as life will look at the crucified one, there's life at this moment for thee. Then look, sinner, look unto him who is nailed to the tree. The Lord Jesus Christ is either going to be your Saviour, or who's going to be your judge? What will it be for you? Heaven or hell? Saviour or judge? God is not willing, as I've said, that any should perish. In other words, he wants us all to be in heaven with himself for all of eternity. But we cannot get there unless we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified upon the cross. He's either going to be your saviour or he's going to be your judge. Make a wise choice, this I my friend. Come to Christ before it's forever and eternally too late. We don't know when we're going to leave this earth. Now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We don't know when we're going to leave. If we leave this earth without Christ, we're in big trouble with God Almighty. We're going to face the judgment of God for all of eternity. But God does not want that for you. He wants you to be saved. 
That's why we come here as gospel preachers, that you might realize that you are a sinner before God. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. There's absolutely no other way to heaven apart from Him. That's why the Bible says, He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. The question is, do you have the Son of God? Have you put your faith alone in Him for your eternal salvation? Yes, but to Israel, he said, All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Does that describe you this afternoon? You're disobedient and you're a gainsaying people or person. We need to take these things personally. I know it's speaking to Israel, the Jews, but you and I need to apply it to ourselves as well in a secondary way. You and I must be careful that we don't harden our heart before the Lord. Today, if you will hear his voice, that is the voice of God, harden not your heart. Don't harden your heart against God, my friend. He wants to save you this after, this after. Wait a heaven. Yes, he wants to save you this hour, my friend. You need to come to Christ, and you need to come to Christ now. Time is running out. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Yes, in whom we have redemption, through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Have you received forgiveness for your sins? The only way you can is if you put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great day.